tomorrow's the first big test as buses replace trains for the next month on the entire orange line and a piece of the green line. We're about to see how tens of thousands of commuters will handle this disruption. Good evening to you. I'm Ken McLeod. The T is asking riders to be patient, but that may be in short supply as the month-long shutdown plays out. WBZ's Christina Hager has more now on how the T and some riders are getting ready. The shuttle buses here from all over the East Coast are running along the Orange Line. Wheels are in motion. This, a practice bike ride, cramming for the big test Monday morning. Ride into the city uh, about seven miles door to door. Um, and I expect to see some more bikers, but also a lot more car traffic. Near Jeremy Garzinski's home, the Oak Grove T station is part of the Orange Line's unprecedented month long shutdown, along with part of the Green Line closing at the same time. To enable work like this on the roof at Sullivan Square, and on the tracks at Community College. Massachusetts Buell Transportation Buell. Secretary uh, Jamie Tesla. Um, we're asking a lot of people to go through this period of time together, but we think it will be worth it. Here's what he says work crews have already done since the closure started Friday night. At Wellington, tracks demolished and excavation started. Between Downtown Crossing and State Street, rail demolition is complete with half of its replacement done. In Forest Hills, Stony Brook, Assembly and Mass Ave, new lighting. All this for the price of some traffic nightmares for a while. Here in Medford, they've set up an emergency operations center with extra police on hand. There's going to be long commute times, whether you're in a car or you're trying to take the T. Um, it used to take 20 minutes to get to Oak, from Oak Grove to State Street. Now it's going to take over an hour. Best hope at this point is that it's safe, however we get there. Christina Hager, WBZ News.